Regardless if it's for military or industrial application, uranium needs to be enriched. This process starts at the mining facility where the mineral gets separated from its ore and shipped to an enrichment facility that in turn creates a final product known as the uranium fuel that can be used for nuclear fission. But how and why is this being done in the first place? While well, uranium is fairly abundant mineral found around the world, but in its raw form it has a very low radioactivity and it's mostly comprised of the isotope uranium-238, which is not suitable for achieving nuclear fission. For this, uranium-235 needs to be extracted and concentrated in order to raise its level from around 0.7% in its natural form to at least 3 or 5% in order for it to be regarded as a nuclear fuel. This is usually being done in gas centrifuges where uranium or concentrate gets turned into a uranium hexafluoride gas that is then spun in order to separate heavier U-238 from the lighter U-235. Although there is no exact number, on average it takes around 2.5 tons of uranium ore that contains around 0.7% of U-235 to produce 1 kilogram of uranium fuel and reach to around 3-5%. to To be considered weapons grade, uranium typically needs to be enriched to around 90% with isotope U-235. 